The end wave is a vast improvement over the previous successful Korean K808 platform with a more powerful 700 horsepower engine and a hydrodynamically optimized hull shape with a raised snooker system to cope with literal operation. According to South Korean defense and engineering company Hyundai Rotem, at ADEX 2023, Hyundai Rotem unveiled the prototype of the N-Wave, which might well become the next generation wear ammo vehicle for the Republic of Korea Army. According to the latest information posted on the Army recognition, Hyundai Rotem has announced plans to establish a production facility in Poland to produce N-Wave an advanced 8x8 wear ammo vehicle. The new design offers configuration flexibility to suit different mission requirements. The N-Wave gross vehicle mass under 35 tons is power pack providing 700 horsepower, which means a 20 horsepower per 10 power to weight ratio. It is fitted with independent suspensions of the dapper wishbone tap with spring coils and dampers. As standard, the first and second axles are steering. However, the company is ready to provide as option steering also on four axles to reduce the turning radius. At ADEX 2023, the N wave was showcased an infantry fighting vehicle configuration. This version is equipped with a remotely operated weapon station, armed with a Northrop Grumman Mark 44 Bushmaster to 30mm automatic cannon. Additionally, it features a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, a 12.7mm weapon on a remotely controlled station atop the turret, and a twin launcher for anti-tank missiles on the turret's right side. The N-Wave can be also configured as a fire support variant, equipped with a 120mm cannon and an automatic loading system, manned by a crew of three. The IFV version accommodates a crew of three plus eight dismounts, while the armor personnel carrier variant includes additional seating for two more infantrymen. In terms of protection, the N-Wave boasts a welded steel hull with add-on armor for future upgrades. It also features an active protection system evident from the launcher at the rear of the turret. Notably, the vehicle is amphibious, capable of reaching speeds of 8 km per hour in water, facilitated by rear-mounted propellers and supported by front-mounted chim van and a telescopic air intake for amphibious operations. The driver is provided by a digitalized, integrated display with a front thermal driving camera, side and rear cameras being also part of its sensor suit. A 360-degree viewing system is also installed, providing on ground situational awareness to the commander and infantryman. Cruise-side displays and electronic periscopes being available in the tube compartment. For comfort, a heating, ventilation, and air cooling system is provided, while an NBC filtration unit ensures protection in contaminated areas. An automatic fire suppression system in the engine and tube compartment increases safety. According to company specifications, the N-Wave has a length of 9.3 meters, a width of 3.1 meters, and a height of 
2.8 meters without a turret, and 3.5 meters with a turret. According to Hyundai Rotem, a 30-ton class 8x8 Marantaron vehicle has a specifically designed to operate in the litters and can be launched from amphibious assurance vessels. 